Okay, so I'm just starting off this little video just real quick to tell you about the Cooper SGT Pro Discover, whatever you want to call them. I got pitches for them, I got links for them in the description. If you want to check them out and read further reviews like on Amazon or even uh, Direct Hire, wherever you do your tire reviewing at. So I do a lot of research on YouTube for anything that I'm about to purchase, including those same tires, and I couldn't really find a whole lot on them. So I did a lot of reviews on my truck before I even bought it, just going to YouTube, so that's why I'm here. So I have Cooper Discover STT Pro 35, 1250, wrapped on 20-inch rims, uh, 20 by nine, I believe, 20 by 10. They're the uh, Fuel Maverick and uh, you'll see them in the pictures and everything. I've been having these tires for about 22,000 miles now, and I absolutely love them. There's better tires out there, don't get me wrong. I would love to have the uh, Toyo MTs, but they're like $450 a tire for what the size application I would need them for. And I think these were uh, price marked right around 3, 310, 320 maybe at the highest. And uh, you can check them out on Amazon. I can't say I paid much more than $1,200 for the full set, including shipping. But the, uh, I've been having them on my truck for about 20, 22,000 miles. And I've been through any possible terrain that you can imagine. Like uh, I started off, uh, I put those tires on and I was working in just a slop of Mississippi, just muddy everywhere and on hills and all that. And I never got stuck one time going that with four wheel drive, of course, the truck is four wheel drive. It's a heavy truck, it's a F-250 diesel, 2017. Cool, it's a heavy freaking truck. I upgraded from my 2015 Dodge Ram four wheel drive. That was a 1500 by the way, but Geez, this truck is so much heavier, but those tires actually help perform well because I actually had these same tires on my Dodge right before I sold it because I had the Toyo Open Country RTs and I paid about $420 a tire for those. Ugh, that's expensive. I just couldn't do it again. So, shit, probably like three months before I sold the truck, I needed new tires for work. So, I bought the Coopers because I got a really good price deal on them and I got them in 35s. And man, I love those tires. I never got stuck with the Toyos, but I also never got stuck with the Coopers, not the Dodge anyway. But whenever I traded the truck in and I got the Ford, I had the bullcrap, what BF, Goodrich, generic, uh, factory, off-road or RT tires on it, they're never worth anything. After I finally said, okay, enough's enough, I'm getting stuck all the time, I need to actually put some good tires in my truck, I think it was like 2,000 miles. So I went home for the Thanksgiving holidays and got all the work done to it and it came out great. I put the, uh, the two inch ready lift on there. I put the uh, 20 inch rims with the fender flares and the Cooper 35, 1250, 20s. And ever since then, never gotten stuck. Besides this one time, I was working in the, uh, right after Christmas, uh, right, right around New Year's, or right after New Year's actually, it was right after New Year's, I was working in the uh, dunes of East New Mexico. Although, I'm not gonna say the worst town in the world, but it's, uh, it's, a, it's not my favorite place to be, uh, Hobbs, New Mexico and Jowell, New Mexico. If anybody who works pipeline or anybody who works in the oil field or any kind of uh, drilling, then you know you know what I'm talking about. No offense to anybody who lives there. I mean, it's a nice little quaint town if you like that sort of thing. Just not my cup of tea. Not my cup of tea at all. But so while I was over there, I'm driving through the right of ways and you're going over these sand dunes and everything. It's just how it works. And uh, your access points are always just in the middle of nowhere. It's in the worst terrain possible. I was going through all this briar brush, I'm guessing you call it. Uh, put a picture up. But I was going through all this briar brush and going through these right of ways and I got pictures of all that too. And I have this uh, helper with me, he's behind me. And he's in a two wheel drive work truck and I knew he was gonna get stuck eventually, but I had my toe strap, I could pull him out. Well, I'm going over to sand dune and I made it, no problem. I wasn't having any issues and he got stuck. So of course, I gotta go pull him out. Well, I'm a dumbass because I just put the truck in reverse and tried to back right over the t uh, sand dune that he was stuck on. Didn't work. Buried my rear bumper in the sand. So I'd call the tractor and get me towed out. But if it wasn't for that, I would never gotten stuck in the truck. So been through sand, I've been through mud been through some rocks and the tires handled really great never got punctured one time um going over any kind of objects uh i can climb up a pretty stout curb the tires perform very well for their price point i love them and that's just in a 35 and it, they look kind of small in my truck don't get me wrong but i can't run a 37 without rubbing and rubbing for a person actually using their truck for off-road is a no-go i cannot handle having rub because i use the full flex and the full trap on my suspension so if there's even a chance of it rubbing like these 35s are pretty close, but they don't rub at all. Not a full lock, not a full flex or anything. But a 37 definitely will, and I'll rip something off. I can't have that. So later down the line, if I ever do like a four inch lift, I'll probably, or probably six inch, I don't know, I might go crazy and do an eight inch, one of those uh, Kingmans or whatever. I know I, pronounce, I know I said it wrong, but I'm sure it's gonna appear right here. But I'll go ahead and probably put uh, 37s on at that point. If not, if I could fit 40s. I would love to, I love big trucks, I love big tires, and. I actually use it for what it's worth and now do I need a big lift on this truck? No. Anyway, as far as the tires go, I'll put a clip of the road noise. And that's uh, with the window 
closed and then here's one with the window open so you could hear. Now, the tires aren't the quietest, but they're also not the loudest. I think on their website they rate them like right at like the out of 10, that's five, five and a half, maybe six. But of course you're gonna have a pretty aggressive meaty tire. It's gonna make some road noise. You just can't get, it's like you can't have the best of both worlds. Like sacrifice this, get this, sacrifice that, you lose it. You know what it is. And you also pay for what you get. So if they make a thousand dollar mud tire that's ultra quiet, ultra aggressive, yeah, you might get it, but you're also paying a thousand dollar tire. Nobody wants that. Fuck that shit. But anyway, but that's just my little short review. I mean, I'm sure this video is not gonna be much more than five minutes long, but that's just a short review on the tires and just felt I was driving and I was hearing the tires and I was like man you know what I'm sure there's some people out there that would love some actual real world content of the tires and somebody who actually uses them and might help you make a decision if you're gonna get these or not whether it steers you closer to them or away here's just my little point of view so hope this helps and if you like this video you can do the whole like subscribe notifications whatever doesn't bother me none just do what you do and I'll do me later guys